I, I think you can tell, right, that it's just now hitting us. I apologize for not uh, looking at the, the camera too much, but you can tell the wind has really picked up. I am now soaking wet. That front just moved through, and it's it's interesting. Did you guys just mention a transformer uh, blow? On fire. If you did, mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, in Aurora. So I actually thought maybe that was some sort of lightning. I saw that to the north of us, and it was kind of this peachy, uh, peachy orange glow that I saw in the distance, and it lasted a while. And uh, I said, "Oh, uh, photographer Scott, tur turn it that way. Turn it that way. There must be some sort of lightning." So we. We're in a fairly safe location. I'll let you guys know if we need to cut this short. We're kind of under an awning at a gas station. So we're, we're in the, uh, now it's starting to slow down. So it's still raining, but it's, the wind has actually started to kind of calm down. So that's how fast this is moving. Uh, but there was at one point, uh, what, 15 minutes ago, uh, Scott, that our camera almost almost knocked over because uh, because the wind gusts were just so powerful. We're on the edge of Kendall and Will right now, so we're kind of Oswego, kind of Aurora. The sirens have stopped going off. Uh, we believe it was for uh, uh, this, uh, this very severe thunderstorm warning, uh, not necessarily for a tornado warning in this area, but because of all these really, really powerful winds. Um, but you can see, I don't know if, I'm just going to step out of the way. Scott, if you can just kind of show, hopefully this comes across. Um, we're kind of sheltered right now from the wind and from the rain. Uh, not, not so much because we're, so, we're still soaked, but just look at this. I mean, it is downpours right now. We still have uh, power out here, uh, kind of in the, in the Oswego Aurora area. Uh, so we're thankful for that. Not as many cars on the road, so hopefully those sirens, people uh, really noticed that those sirens were going off in the area and um, went home or went to a very safe place. But I'll tell you, so the wind is still here, the rain is still here, uh, but it does seem like that front, like that line that you guys have been watching um, all evening, you know, for the past hour or so, it feels like that has kind of gone through. And of course, we're going to still have some of this rain for a while, um, but it feels like that front has kind of moved across us. I don't know if you guys can confirm that or not, but we're kind of on the, the what would it be, the south west edge of, uh, 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 no, the southeast edge of Aurora uh, near Oswego. Back to you guys. Yes, and Elizabeth, you're probably noticing a temperature drop, right? I'm sure you've noticed the temperatures drop quickly. Because I'm frozen. <laughs> yes, okay, so this line yes. is actually yeah. right out ahead of our cold front. So once you get on the back side of this line of storms, you're going to notice a drastic drop in temperatures, and uh, that's what's going to be our cold front. And then on the back side of this, we're not done with the wind. So we actually have a wind advisory that's in effect area-wide for all locations within Chicagoland for even after these thunderstorms pass by because we're going to be dealing with strong westerly winds gusting as high as about 45 to 50 miles per hour through tonight into the early portion of tomorrow. We do have that wind advisory remaining in effect until tomorrow afternoon. 